Hello all of you. I hope you've had a wonderful week. I certainly have. And so has someone else. Yeah! Too noisy, Finnegan. I'm sorry about that. Well, Finnegan is so excited because guess what? We are going to go on a safari and find loads of animals. I hope Finnegan doesn't get scared though. Finnegan, you don't get scared about wild animals, do you? Oh, he does. Well, we'll just have to make sure that he stays very safe and sound. I'm gonna put him over here. Okay, Finnegan, you just watch. You're going in the back. You can keep an eye on everything. We're going on safari, safari, safari. We're going on safari. Why don't you come with me? We're looking in the jungle, the jungle, the jungle. We're looking in the jungle to see what we can see. Shh. <gasps> What was that? Look, it was a monkey. That was a big loud noise, Mr. Monkey. He's nearly as bad as Finnegan Hobnob, isn't he? Can you make a big monkey noise? Let me hear. Oh, very good. We're going on safari, safari, safari. We're going on safari, why don't you come with me? We're looking in the jungle, the jungle, the jungle. We're looking in the jungle to see what we can see. Shh. <gasps> what was that? It was a tiger. Oh my goodness. I'm glad that Finnegan's in the back and he's not getting too scared. That was a loud noise. Can I hear your your loud, loud roar? <gasps> oh, don't do it again. Finnegan will get all scared. Now, I wonder if we'll find something really quiet this time. Let's see. We're going on safari, safari, safari. We're going on safari. Why don't you come with me? I'm looking in the jungle, the jungle, the jungle. I'm looking in the jungle to see what I can see. It's something really tall. Look. It's a great big giraffe. Well, now giraffes don't make any noise out of their mouth. Not like a, a lion or a tiger or a monkey or us, because they don't have anything in their throat that makes talking or sound like that. The only sound that they can make is just chewing leaves. So you might hear this noise or something like that when they're chewing a leaf. Can you pretend you're chewing a leaf? Let me hear. Oh, Finnegan doesn't mind that sound. Let's see. There might be something very colourful up in the jungle as well. Because when I was looking up, I saw the giraffe and before that I saw a monkey. But I wonder if there's anything else up there that's very colourful. We're going on safari, safari, safari. We're going on safari. Why don't you come with me? We're looking in the jungle. Move all the vines out of the way. The jungle. We're looking in the jungle to see what we can see. Oh, I can see something so pretty up there. What is that? A parrot, that's right. But a parrot looks very pretty, but has a really rather not very nice voice. Oh, dearie me. It's very noisy on this trip, isn't it? It's like having Finnegan making all those noises all the time. But a parrot does look very pretty. 
Can you make the sound of a parrot? So you've just got to go squawk. My goodness, that was a very loud noise. Now I wonder if I'll find any other animals when we're on our safari. Remember, we've got to move the vines out of the way when we're walking through the jungle. We're going on safari, safari, safari. We're going on safari. Why don't you come with me? We're looking in the jungle, the jungle, the jungle. We're looking in the jungle to see what we can see. Oh, I can hear some big stamping noises. Could you hear those stamping noises? What can that be? Look, it's an elephant come to see us. Well, we've got to be very quiet. Very careful because it's still a wild animal, even though it's very beautiful and lovely. My goodness, we saw so many animals. Forget Finnegan, did you enjoy that? I'm so glad. Well, we're going to see if we can find some more animals. So you carry on sitting down there. That's good. Good old Finnegan. Walking through the jungle, what can I see? Shh. I can hear a noise, whatever could it be? <laughs> Look at that big hairy monkey there. Wow, he is a handsome creature, isn't he? I can hear a monkey, I can hear a monkey looking for his tea. I hope it isn't me. I'll put the monkey down. Walking through the jungle, what can I see? Shh. I can hear a noise, whatever could it be? Oh, it's something snappy. What could it be? What could it be that is so snappy? Here, snap, snap, snap. It's Miss Snappy the Crocodile. Snap, snap. I can hear a crocodile, I can hear a crocodile Looking for her tea, I hope it isn't me I can put Miss Snappy down now But there's lots more animals here What's the next one going to be? Walking through the jungle, what can I see? Shh. I can hear a noise Rah! Whatever could it be? I can hear a tiger. I can hear a tiger looking for his tea. I hope it isn't me. I could put the tiger away. Walking through the jungle. What can I see? Shh. I can hear a noise, whatever could it be? Brrr! What is that? You know what it is. I can hear an elephant. Here he is. I can hear an elephant looking for his tea. Brrr! I hope it is me. Even though I love elephants, I don't want to get eaten up by one. I wonder if I'll find any other things while I'm walking through the jungle. Walking through the jungle, walking through the jungle, what can I see? Shh. I can hear a noise, whatever could it be? Dookie, dookie, dook, dookie, dookie, dook. What is that? Mr. Tookie Bird, look, here's Mr. Tookie Bird. See, he's kind of got a big kiss on his lips, hasn't he? He's got a very, very, very bright orange, very important beak, hasn't he? Mr. Tookie Bird, 
So I'm going to put Mr. Tweaky Bird away as well now. I've got a huge big mountain of creatures in here. And look, Finnegan says that he thinks it's time for us to look at a storybook about all the different animals we might have seen in the jungle. So I have got a really cool storybook called Jasper's Jungle Journey. And it's written and illustrated by somebody called Val Biro. I don't know if it's Biro or Biro, but anyway, that is the name. And look at all of the lovely animals we're going to see in our book. But Jasper is a little elephant, and you know how much I like elephants. So, but we've got lots of other animals here, haven't we? Look, hippopotamus, crocodile, we found one of those, didn't we? A lion, a snake, some monkeys, a giraffe, a rhinoceros, a zebra, a tiger, and a camel. My goodness. Jasper the little elephant had lost his teddy bear in the jungle. First, he searched the tall green grass. What did he see? What was that? <gasps> A snake in coils, bright as brass. Then, behind a twisted tree, what did he see? What is that? Two chimps having chips and tea. I didn't know that monkeys like chips, did you? There, but there they are. They're having a cup of tea and some chips. By some rough and rugged rocks, what did he see? What's that? Looks like somebody's tail, doesn't it? But what? <gasps> it's the tail of a lion wearing purple socks. What a funny lion. Maybe he had cold feet. On the bank of a reedy river, what did he see? Look, there's the reeds. And here's the bank of the river. But what is that? What can he see? A croc with a cold, all a shiver. That's you! Oh! Poor old crocodile. In the swampy, slushy ooze, what did he see? Now, something that's swampy and slushy and oozy is something that's muddy and gloopy. What did he see in the mud and the gloop? It's something round with a, what's this? Is that a horn or is that a tail? Let's see. <gasps> a hippo yawn <sighs> before his snooze. He must have been a very tired hippo. Jasper on his search for bear, what did he see? What's that? Looks a little bit like the body of an animal that we know. It doesn't. But it, or is it a tree trunk? Hmm, we'll have to find out. <gasps> a giraffe without a care. Look, the giraffe was sitting in a chair. In front of him was the palm tree. So when we were looking at the palm tree, look, it looked like the, the giraffe's neck was the trunk of the tree. That's a trick, isn't it? By some trees, all tossed and torn, what did he see? Look, you see, that tree has been tossed out of the ground. I wonder if that was done by an animal or whether it was done by the wind or whether it's by a river and maybe the river did it. We don't know. Let's see if we've got a clue on the next page. <gasps> I think it must have been this animal because this animal is really big. Look, a rhino with an enormous horn. So he's got such a long spiky horn. Maybe he dug the tree out. Do you think so? 
in a stripy shaded nook. What did he see? Look, those trees are a bit of a clue. Hmm, let's see. A zebra reading a cookery book. Oh, I wonder what he was going to cook. Do you think zebras like eating stripy food? I wonder. Searching for bear under the trees. What did he see? <gasps> What's that? That looks like somebody's whiskers. <gasps> it's not somebody's whiskers, it's somebody's tail. A camel wearing dungarees. Then he got a fearful fright. What did he see? Rawr! A roaring tiger, what a sight! Jasper ran home and when he got there, what did he see? Gran, who had found his teddy bear. Oh, lucky old Jasper. So his teddy bear was at home all the time. But did you notice that Jasper had a little friend wherever he went? Look, it was a little bird. Very pretty little bird. I think that's the blue bird of happiness. There we are. So I'm going to say goodbye for today and I'll see you all next time. Have a lovely, lovely week. Lots of love. Bye-bye.